to all of you TYBSC physics student so today again welcome to lecture series on the nuclear physics and we want to see or start our third chapter chapter which is the nuclear forces in this chapter we want to see the idea about the properties of the nuclear forces so that means that these forces are the short range forces or long forces or which is known as the these forces are weak force or electromagnetic force or strong forces what is the idea about the mason theory and what is the idea about the deuteron problem and such idea we want to see that the elementary particle so that very first chapter already we have to see that the what is mean by the mass number what is mean by the actual mass of the atom or what is mean by the packing fraction and what is the radius of the nucleus and radius of the atom so that all part or what is the nuclear density this part also see in the very first chapter now we have to see here so for example to study the what is mean by the atom so that atom which is considered as two separate part so that is the nuclear part and extra nuclear part so that atom which is considered as the first part which is considered as the nuclear part and second part which is considered as the non nuclear part okay so in this part so this nuclear part which is consist of the radius of nucleus which is 10 to the power minus 15 meter so that is femtometer and see that the nucleons of the particle which is present in the nucleus of the atom so that is considered as the proton number p so that the nuclear part consist of the proton so that is denoted by p and next part which is considered as the neutron so that is considered as the n and this non nuclear part which is considered as the that electrons which is revolves around the nucleus in the different shells so that is considered as the that electrons is revolves revolves around the nucleus around the nucleus in the different shells in the different shells so that generally we have to idea that consider as this nuclear part and that uh, non nuclear part so this nuclear part which is considered as proton and neutron and uh, this is considered as the nucleons so that nucleons which is considered as the we have to see the basic structure of the nuclear part so that nuclear part which is considered as we have to say that so that is the nucleons and that nucleons which is considered as the three main part so that first part which is considered as the capital a and that capital a which is nothing but the atomic mass number or which is considered as the nuclear mass atomic mass okay uh, after that so that capital p which is considered as the proton number proton number and next part which is considered as the capital n so this is known as the neutron number okay and generally see for any x component so see the basic structure so that we have to define the structure of the any element so that is considered as this is the a that is considered as the atomic mass number this is considered as the proton number or this is considered as the neutron number 
and this proton number which is consider as the same which is equivalent to that number of protons or number of electrons number of protons which is present in the nucleus or number of electrons which is present in the uh, present in the differential that is around the nucleus so that is consider as the p is equal to z so that is consider as the the basic structure of the any element of the atom so that is a z and n okay and this is consider as that a is nothing but the that the sum of the atomic number z or that is consider as the proton number and neutron number so that is the z plus n and we have to or we have uh, see already the idea about the what is mean by the z or what is mean by the uh, neutron number and uh, depends on this we have to already see that idea here so what is the actual mass of the atom or what is the uh, mass number or original mass number and what is fracking fraction about that c all over the idea so in this chapter last chapter so that depends upon this nucleons so what is the radius of this nucleus and whatever so that depends on this property so that we have to say that that nuclear forces which is the short range forces or what is the attraction between or nuclear attraction between that different charges or repulsion is there possible or not so that idea so that depends upon the nuclear forces is coming together and what is the that forces between the we have to see in the nucleons part or nuclear part three types of the forces which is depends upon the pair which is develop along the we have to consider that the proton proton pair or proton neutron pair or which is consider as the neutron neutron pair so that is consider as the central forces that central forces so that is depends upon we have to see that uh, that idea we have to consider so now we want to see so that the idea which is consider upon the nuclear forces or what is mean by the nuclear forces so nuclear next point which is consider as the nuclear forces and that nuclear forces that we have to see that idea which is given as the binding energy per nucleon against the mass number a or you have to know that idea so what is mean by the binding energy for example we have to consider what is mean by the binding energy of the atom so that is the that the amount of the minimum amount of energy to remove the electron from the orbits so that is the binding energy of the atoms or the electron similarly in the nuclear part so that is the minimum amount of energy so that to remove the any nucleons from this nuclear so that is consider as the binding energy and that nucleons so that is consider that the mass number so that is the a and uh, which is about the energy consider that range of energy that is 8 mega electron volt per unit nucleon so this is the binding energy so now depends upon this or we have to already know that the idea so that the radius of the nucleus which is considered as the 10 to the power minus 15 and radius of the atom which is considered as the 10 to the power minus 10 so if we see that comparison between the radius of the nucleus and atom so we have to know that that the radius of the nucleus is very small as compared to atom so that is up to that shorter one lakh times shorter than the atom so we have to see that that uh, your nucleons which is spirally collapsed into the nucleus so we have to see that or we want to interesting to say that that nuclear forces are the short range forces so now we want to see that what is the main properties of the nuclear forces so that 
uh, I want to see here. So that first property, which is nothing but the or uh, futures of the nuclear forces. So that first, which is considered as the nuclear forces, are the Schwarzschild forces. So nuclear forces are the short range forces nuclear forces are the short range forces so why we have to see here nuclear forces is the short range forces because of this so here the appreciable that nuclear forces is appreciable only the distance between the nucleons which is the order consider as the 10 to the power minus 15 meter so that fall rapidly with distance and when becomes the few times more than the 10 to the power minus 15 meters so that already discussed this point so that the nuclear force is short because the radius of the nucleus is 10 to the power minus 15 meter and this is very small so that first property which is considered as the nuclear forces are the short range forces now next property which is nuclear forces are the charge independent nuclear forces are the charge independent nuclear forces are the charge independent why we want to see that or uh, we have to say that the nuclear forces are the charge independent because the nuclear force between the protons and neutrons are same as the force between the protons and protons and between the neutrons and neutrons because uh, already I have to uh, explain that or see that that the uh, nuclear force between the these protons and protons or we have to say that another pair which is considered as the nuclear force between the neutrons and the neutron and uh, which is considered as the nuclear force which is between that the protons and neutrons so this possible uh, path which is uh, C for the nuclear forces or this pair which is obtained that uh, we have to consider that so that uh, for example first proton that spin up now second proton so that is considered as the spin down first is spin up next one is spin up spin down and this is spin up spin down no parallel spin alignment is there or uh, which is considered as for example we have to see that this proton and this uh, next proton so that is spin up up and we have to consider that the spin that down down and this is spin up spin down so that consider as that uh, alignment of this so we have to this see that that nuclear forces are the short range forces because the life of this uh, forces is very small and uh, due to this that force between the uh, this proton proton neutron neutron and this proton neutron is very short and that's the that's why we have to say that the nuclear forces are charge independent and this is considered as the non-electric nuclear nature non-electric nuclear nature so that is the futures or the second property of the nuclear forces now we want to see the next property which is considered as the nuclear forces are the strong interaction forces nuclear forces are the strong interaction forces so that is nuclear forces are strong interaction forces or already we uh, we have to last few lectures see that so what is the property of the strong interaction forces so that is given in terms of or it depends upon the uh, depends upon the that uh, which of the quantum number is conserved so that is considered as the that is uh, what is the charge number what is the lepton number what is the baryon number strangeness isospin third component of the isospin and that depends on this the that we have to analyze the idea or to understanding the idea so that nature of the nuclear forces which is considered as this force is strong interaction or weak interaction 
or electromagnetic interaction so what type of interaction is there so that third property we, uh, that clear that the idea so that nuclear forces are the strong interaction forces or why we, we want to see that this forces is strong interaction forces because of the out of this uh, four fundamental forces which is considered as the gravitational electromagnetic and inter weak interaction and strong interaction the nuclear forces so that all the strongest forces and the nuclear force which is extremely strong as compared to the gravitational force now next property which is see here that nuclear forces having the saturation property so next property with the nuclear forces nuclear forces have nuclear forces have saturation property nuclear forces have the saturation property okay so what is mean that nuclear forces is the short, uh, having the saturation property so that is the nuclear forces are the short range force and as a result that nucleon interact with only a limited number of the nucleons and that nearest it and the effect of the call that the saturation forces so that means that so if we consider the volume of the any nucleus okay volume of the any nucleus we have to consider as the that the density of the nucleus okay for example this is volume and if we consider in the nuclear part there is the proton is there proton is there proton is there this is proton proton is there okay and for example one of the neutron is there neutron is there neutron 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 or which is considered as proton neutron something that like okay so what is this property so this for example this proton which is interact with this proton or this neutron is possible but not is possible for this proton which is interact with this proton and neutron something like that so that's why we want to see that this nuclear forces is the saturated property or saturation property forces and next property which is the nuclear force are the non central nuclear forces are non central nuclear forces are the non central forces okay why we want to see that the nuclear forces is non central forces because of the gravitational and electrostatic forces are the central forces and while the nuclear forces are the non central forces because as a nuclear interaction not extend very large distances beyond the nuclear radii and the central characteristics of force is not applicable so that nuclear forces which is not depends or uh, Uh, which is we have to already see that the property is saturated forces and that force of attraction between distance is very small force of attraction is very small if we see that the central force idea so that the distance between two molecule or two matter whatever is there that distance something having the uh, distance is there so here the that distance between two uh, nucleons is very small so that not possible way as like the electrostatic force or gravitational force so that uh, very small distance as compared to here so that's why we have to say that the nuclear forces are the non central forces so now next lecture we want to see the meson theory of the nuclear forces and this theory so that what type of the reaction is obtained or if we see that uh if we consider the meson practical uh, sorry meson particle so that is pi plus pi zero and pi minus and if we that interact with the protons or neutrons is uh, happen or that uh, react with the neutral particle p plus pi not which is consider uh, that proton is obtained and what is this type of reaction and what type of this theory which is conclude here so this point we want to see in the next lecture so thanking of you